pollen that actually has been sticking to the ground. So Michelle, what does it mean for our roads Monday morning? Yeah, it's kind of misleading. You just see that light dusting of snow and you're like, oh, okay, the road should be fine. But temperatures have not climbed above freezing today. And as we take a look live downtown, you can see just a very light coating, even on some of the area roadways, which means uh, we're definitely not seeing any melting out there as temperatures are below freezing. And what that means is by tomorrow, we could still see some slick spots in those untreated roadways. Today's high only 31 degrees after bottoming out in the 20s. So far, the Spokane Airport, at least as of 5 o'clock, it only picked up two tenths of an inch of snow, but we are seeing some pockets of more moderate snows, especially north of I-90. So uh, by the time you're headed out tomorrow morning, especially with temperatures continuing to fall into the 20s, there could be up to an inch of snow on the ground and uh, some slick roads are definitely a possibility. We're sitting at 31 degrees right now at the Spokane Airport. Light winds and still reporting some light snow across the area. Here's a look at our weather headlines. Again, we're looking at light, light snow to continue this evening and start to wind down overnight. Total accumulation should come in under an inch in Spokane. And then we're looking at snow again another light snow event on Tuesday but it is going to be a very active weather week we're going to go from snow on Tuesday to a rain and snow event or maybe just even afternoon rain as temperatures warm up into the upper 30s and even 40s from the second half of the week right on into the upcoming weekend so certainly uh, much more active weather than what we saw for that first uh, couple of weeks of December here's a look at satellite and radar right now with the area advisories painted on there in purple that includes this Cascade Mountains until four o'clock tomorrow morning some more moderate snow accumulations there across the passes. Also, the blues, uh, especially in those higher elevations, looking at two to five inches of snow. And then uh, the Grangeville area could see some light freezing rain tomorrow. So could definitely see some slick roads in that direction. Look out past picking up another couple of inches of snow overnight. And now, again, a zoom in. You can see north of I-90, even in the downtown area, starting to see some slightly heavier snow than what we've seen for most of the afternoon. Again, that'll continue through the evening and early overnight hours, then wind down. So by Monday morning, just kind of gray skies and some patchy fog across the area. Should be mainly dry day on Monday, but then snow returns on Tuesday, which could be affecting your Tuesday morning commute as well. Regional forecast shows some chilly highs tomorrow, only 30 in Grand Coulee and barely making it to freezing in Davenport, only 31 in Deer Park. Should top out right around the freezing mark in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene with cloudy skies and area fog and then light snow continuing in places like Grangeville tomorrow, Kellogg, Kalispell and Libby. Uh, Colville should just see cloudy skies and any snow should be out of the way by tomorrow morning down in Pullman. Here's a look at that extended forecast. Cloudy on Monday, 32, but then starting to warm up for the rest of the week. So we could see some snow melting on Tuesday with highs in the mid 30s and then rain and snow for Wednesday and Thursday. Looks like a break on Friday, but for the upcoming weekend, highs in the 40s and rain and snow. This is great news, though, for area ski resorts, which should be picking up a lot more snow in those mountains.